Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dia Davidson. And I'm Angie Bevin. Thanks for joining us at four. We are awaiting President Biden's address to the nation that's set to begin at any minute about the ongoing unrest in Afghanistan. And of course, when the president starts his address, we plan to go to it live as soon as he begins. But first, for some context, let's look at what's happening right now. Many Afghans are desperately trying to leave their country by way of the international airport in Kabul. This a day after the Taliban seized the capital city. Many Western nations are also scrambling to evacuate their citizens from the airport in chaotic and dangerous conditions. Now, residents fear that the Taliban will return to past harsh practices and their imposition of Sharia religious law. During their 1996 to 2001 rule, women could not work and punishments such as stoning, whipping and hanging were administered. At least five people were killed at the airport as U.S. troops guarded the evacuation of embassy staff. It was not immediately clear how the victims died.